know, obviously it's a great way to start the season, uh, getting off uh, on the winning side of things. Uh, I thought tonight was very beneficial, the amount of uh, reps that, uh, you know, our second team was able to get, especially up front in the offensive and defensive lines, as we all know that, you know, that's been kind of a point of emphasis of developing depth. And then, uh, you know, playing the, the three freshman running backs and then the freshman receivers. So I think we gained some valuable experience there. Uh, but we have, you know, a lot of work to do. And, uh, you know, a lot of improvements need to occur this week. Um, you know, first and foremost, in special teams, especially our kickoff team. And, you know, I didn't think we played with a great up-tempo tonight. And we substituted uh, probably too much more than we would like to in a game. But with the uh, elements and, and the heat, uh, we did that, uh, but we need to improve on our tempo a little bit. I still thought, you know, uh, our tackling needs to take a step uh, further in the development phase, especially defensively, and then, you know, a couple times on uh, special teams as well. But, you know, winning, as we know, is, uh, is hard. And, uh, you know, we talked about handling our business and our mental intensity, our mental preparation, our mental focus all week. And we talked about uh, it was the block games, getting out of the blocks, our sprinter start, sprinter stance coming out of the blocks. And I thought we did that. I thought our kids had great focus. I thought they had great preparation throughout the week. And I think it showed tonight. But like I said, uh, you know, it's on to the next one. And we all know the great challenge uh, that we're going to have next week uh, going to Tennessee. And we need to take some great strides in a number of certain areas uh, starting uh, Monday when we get back practicing. What's the, what's the biggest thing that you guys did tonight that is going to be as been, going to be beneficial when you walk into that stadium next week in Knoxville? Well, obviously, every time you win, you you get confidence, you know. And uh, we handled our business, you know. That's the biggest thing we talked about is, uh, you know, and it's not just you know tonight. We've handled our business in the classroom, off the field, you know. We've had a great uh, preseason camp, and so I think it gives you confidence, you know, and. Uh, you know, we were able to play some individuals, so now they have some game experience, and they'll be a whole nother level when we walk into Neyland Stadium uh, next week. We can't be distracted. That's, you know, you got to be an extremely focused football team. But, uh, you know, there's, there's nothing that simulates game reps, and, uh, you know, some individuals gain some variable reps tonight. You talked about getting a different dimension in your kick return game. You could have gotten any faster than you did, but what do you think of what Ralph David did? Well, you know, we worked extremely hard on our return game, and that's something that, uh, you know, needs to continue to develop, and, and that could be a weapon. And, you know, he, uh, the one uh, kickoff return kind of set the stage a little bit for the beginning of the game. And, and I think, you know, you're going to see Ralph David. He's going to do nothing but get better and better as the season progresses. Talk about your uh, first team defense. You know, 108 yards total in the first half. Talk about the strides they they made to, to improve. Well, they have taken great strides, but again, I still think we need to stop the run a little more consistently. Uh, we still miss too many tackles, and then, you know, we were opportunistic tonight. You know, that's probably one of the things that pleases me the most is we were able to take the ball away, and we protected the football tonight. And uh, our kids really took great pride in that. And uh, so I think that's one of the things I take from this game is, hey, look what happens when you force turnovers and you take care of the ball on offense and special teams. You know, uh, you know, he was very efficient. You know, uh, we worked extremely hard on the scramble drill. He was able to create some uh, plays when they broke down with his legs. And, you know, he had great high vision, you know, when he flushed the pocket. And uh, our receivers did a good job of finding the openings on the scramble drill. Looks at times like Isaiah's operating in cruise control. He's so smooth. Just talk about, you know, him and taking that next step as being a leader of the offense? Well, he's had a tremendous camp. And, uh, you know, we've talked to him. There's more than just being a runner. You know, it's being a running back. It's being a complete back. It's being in pass protection. It's being out on the perimeter in, in the throw game. You know, and it's understanding, you know, there's different tempos to each run play and understanding the scheme. And uh, he's really embraced that. And I think that showed tonight. And, uh, you know, he's got to be a playmaker for us to be successful in offense. And, you know, he's a big player, an opportunity of a big play every time he touches the football, and we saw that tonight. Were you able to prepare for Tennessee at all last week? No, our focus, our, our focus was in Austin all the way. What, what do you expect from Tennessee? I mean, what, just 
kind of look at that game a little bit. I know you won't have a bit focused on it, but you know what they represent and what that, what that game could mean to your season. Well, I, you know, I, it, it, it's, it's the most important game because it's the next game. And I don't want to sound like Coach Keith, but, you know, that's the thing we've been stressing with our football team is it's, you know, it's it, every game's a season, just one game at a time, focus, and then move on to the next and handle our business. And uh, we can't get ahead of ourselves. And like I said, it's just the next game on the schedule. But obviously, you know, it's going to take great preparation, great focus. Uh, you know, we talked about perseverance as a group and uh, being able to overcome adversity. And you know, obviously, going to the stadium is a great home field advantage. And uh, you know, we can't be in all. We just need to go there and play football. And uh, you know, what we can control this week is our preparation becoming a more physical football team and, and fundamentally better in all three phases. Depth on the de defensive line last year was kind of a problem. Those four guys kind of had to play a ton. Just talk about the rotation now and, and keeping guys fresh and how that's progressing. Well, I think, you know, today was, was critical. You know, you look at Jordan Stepp. You know, Jordan Stepp's an individual who needs to give us, you know, some quality reps, and, and he's had a great preseason camp. You know, we can continue to nurture, bring along Cameron Beard. You know, he's another individual. Uh, Monte Taylor, you know, from the defensive end position. So, you know, like we talked about, his depth is going to be critical. So for those individuals that gain those reps, and I'll know a little bit more of where we're at after I watch the film tonight and into tomorrow. Got a chance to get a look at both Munchie and Jordan. Jordan and Wildcat, Munchie throwing in running. What was your assessment? Well, I thought they handled it, you know, and they bring, both of them bring another dynamic in terms of running the football. And uh, so the reps that they were able to get, I think, would be extremely beneficial. But you can see, uh, you know, they bring something to our offense. And uh, so I'm pleased with them, and I'll be able to know a little bit more when I watch the film. But I thought they managed the offense well. I thought they were in control, and I thought Munchie was in control. And uh, you saw that they were able to make some plays, and some plays broke down. What, what will Tennessee show you about this team that you didn't couldn't find out today? Well, obviously they're it, you know they're a physical football team. They're an uh, upper tier SEC football team. Uh, it has a lot of confidence by the way they finished the year, and uh, so you know it's going to be a great, tremendous challenge. You know, uh, have a lot of respect for everything their football program, and, and they have the best of the best. Best you look at the recruiting each year, uh, where the recruiting is. And uh, so, again, it's going to be a great challenge for us, but also within every great challenge lies a great opportunity as well. What do you think of Tim Rowe? You know, I thought he did well. I thought, you know, he still didn't play as fast uh, as he needs to, and I think that's the process of, of gaining the game, game reps. But, uh, you know, I thought he came off the ball at times. And, again, the thing with him that we keep stressing is just consistency. And he's another individual now. He had his... His, his game experience, now he just needs to continue to progress in the fundamentals and be in game shape of what we expect from the receiver position. Okay. Anything else, guys? All right.